tracking people. It's your man, Cousin T, aka the Alpha Wingman, representing high level technicians operating globally and beyond. So, listen, today I just wanted to come at you with a quick story that happened uh, earlier today when, as I left the gym, I entered a Starbucks nearby and this young tender, I mean, uh, she was delicious, uh, was there ordering her drinks and just to put you in a mindset as you know I like to do let me give you the description basically she was about five six caramel skin complected I mean figure eight was on point this tracksuit hugged every curve very specifically if you know what I'm talking about she had on these um, these nice Adidas so you know she was crisp she was real crisp with us um, but I, of course I looked down to, to check for the wedding ring it was not there so this is you know my first indication that it, all right, it's cool for me to approach but okay so let me just give you a little background um, and my ASPs um, and USPs can testify to this one because you'll, you'll notice over time that certain that people react men and women have a reaction to you if ever you walk outside peeled off now peeled off means that you don't have on you know a coat or a sweater or a shirt you basically letting that frame hang you know showing off those guns showing off the chest whatever it is and basically me leaving out of the, out of the gym you know uh, just hopped out of the shower just throw on a tank top uh, and I, I usually do throw on like a jacket or a, a normal t-shirt because I know from experience how people tend to react to an ASP when he's outside peeled off okay basically it's like this the first thing that happens um, when you walk out as an ASP or USP peeled off men start to get into a natural defensive posture they see this they see this frame coming at them and automatically it's like it's like nature it's like second nature something kicks in like god damn i need to be on my p's and q's so uh men react to you when you're showing off that frame uh, in, a, in a defensive position they they just posture up they stand up straight straighten out their back put their shoulders out you know make a show on like oh you know what you you, you think you, you think you swole I look good too even though they don't look like shit half the time secondly women when they encounter an ASP that's peeled off uh, they start to testify now what I mean by testify is that ASP uh, or USP Holy Ghost uh, you know that energy that essence and that presence you know make women um, just react uh, uncontrollably basically the older women they're they're so adorable they're, 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 they're the funniest ones older women they don't give a fuck they're like you know what I live my life I've seen some things I'm a testify and those are the ones that give you like the yoo-hoo I call it the yoo-hoo you know they'll say oh baby you 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 strong ain't you or, or something like that younger women they testify in their own way you know they'll 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 look you up and down they'll bite their lip they'll you know they'll nudge their girlfriend and they don't they tend not to care either because it's so reactionary uh, they, they immediately have this ASP or this USP just on them and they really don't have that time to get into that um, that, dem de that demure position that women tend to, to put off when they know they see something they like but they got to cover it up you know to try to hide it that's what I mean when I say women uh, testify when uh, they're in the presence of an ASP or USP so in any case I'm, you know, I'm in Starbucks ordering my drinks and everything like that, and I'm really just trying to be all nonchalant about it because I know how these these situations can go. I don't know if a guy is like in the car or uh, somewhere nearby, probably sitting at a ch on a chair somewhere. 
So I walk up and, you know, I'm just being my normal self. So her, her, mo, her, her most uh, definitive aspect was that tracksuit. So getting into my ism, I'm like, what's up, tracksuit? And then at first, you know, she had to take a double take. Because you know how women, how women are. No matter how cool and calm and collective as a man, when you approach, you're in your frame and everything like that, they still have to try to fight to maintain control of the situation. So I just say hello again. I said hello. She said what? I said hello. She said what? <laughs> I said hello. She said, what are you trying to do to me? Literally, that, that, that's what she said. What are you trying to do to me? I said, nothing at the moment. I'm just trying to get my overpriced coffee and bounce. So let me throw that same question out to you, tracksuit. What you trying to do to me? At that moment is when the testimony came out. Like I said, it's, it's, that, uh, it's that ASP, USP, Holy Ghost that, that comes upon people. Uh, I'm sure there's a psychological term for it, but that's just what I'll call it, the, the ASP Holy Ghost. So she starts going into this whole like breakdown of, you know, she's got a man and she's a faithful woman. They just um, closed on a house and they got a car. They got two cars. They're, you know, graduating from college. They're, they're living their best lives, none of which I asked for. I did not ask for any of this information, ma'am. Miss Tracksuit, I'm just trying to get my coffee and see what's good in the hood with you. Uh, so as we finished uh, paying for our, our drinks and you know we're heading to the exit, she said something that I had heard before. And this is what inspired this particular upload. She said, even though you fine or whatever, I don't want what you got because I want to keep what I have. And I've heard that before. I've heard that before uh, during shows uh, when we would, you know, when I would present uh, to women and just, you know, uh, finesse that bread or whatever, you, you, you're basically marketing sensuality. And they know that you have the talents and the skills uh, and that uh, that pipe work to really uh, turn them out. But women like to they like to defend what is theirs, but they also, in in a subtle way, like to challenge you to offer something better than what they have. And so what what she was presenting was okay. She ran down all the stats and all her figures and where she is in life and everything like that and you know talking about she's got a good man and all that stuff and basically in the the language of of women she was saying so what do you have to beat all this other stuff that i got going on and this is where the real tech comes in this high level game for the select men for the asps and the usps because Women speak three different languages at once. So all at the same time, she was, you know, conversing in a social situation, just, you know, having a regular conversation. However, she was testifying because she got hit with that ASP Holy Ghost. And the third level, she was presenting where her life was and she was challenging and asking if I could uh, bring something better because she knew that I had that bomb D. However, she's got all this, this material stuff that uh, her man, her current man is uh, presenting and has her, you know, good with, she's good with that. Um, so at the end of the day, in no uncertain terms, she was just saying, you know, I, I know you, you, you all good with the wood, but I don't want that because it'll It'll take away all of this this stuff that I have over here. These material things, you know, this 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 uh, nesting and nurturing thing that they are building together. All in this very brief conversation, she was testifying 
that she knows that she sees something that she wants immediately. However, in uh, in her deeper mind and her you know far out vision, she was defending and trying to protect what she had already built. And this is something that I've observed, and I'm sure a lot of men out there have observed uh, in their own uh, lives. I just thought this was an interesting thing, uh, interesting observation for you know my ASPs, USP select guys, and my technicians to uh, to think about. Because I know that a lot of you guys encounter these situations. But when we get into the language of women, we have to understand the three different levels that they speak on. So I'm going to leave this out, out there in the ether for people to uh, chop up and to think about uh, this scenario in their own lives. And just comment down below if you can relate. If you can't relate, that's fine. You just heard a great story. But until next time, this is your man, Cousin T, saying stay sharp and mission focused. Later.